Is there a loophole in New York's rape law? Well, tonight the I-Team investigates that an alarming letter written by the Manhattan District Attorney. He says that sexual predators are being let off the hook when victims are too drunk to consent. And there's now a call to rewrite that law. News Force Chris Glorioso investigates. I remember basically just being at the club. We'll call her Brittany. And what happened to Brittany could happen to anyone out for a night of drinking with friends. One minute, she says she was in a Manhattan nightclub consuming alcohol. And then the next thing I knew, I have just like a flash of just being in somebody's bedroom. It just was like, I think I've been sexually assaulted. Brittany went to the hospital. She had a rape kit. It showed someone did have sex with her while she was impaired. You were in no condition to give consent. Right. I was essentially not conscious. She went to the police. But Brittany says her case was not pursued by the Manhattan DA. Among the most common fact patterns that we have in sex crime investigations is this situation. Manhattan DA Cyrus Vance could not talk specifically about Brittany's case. But last year, in April, he sent this letter urging Governor Cuomo to support closing a statutory loophole he says leaves drunk victims vulnerable to rapists. In the letter, Vance said prosecutors cannot bring sex crime charges in cases where the victim becomes voluntarily intoxicated even if a reasonable person would have understood the victim to be incapacitated. What was the governor's response to your letter? I haven't spoken to I mean, I haven't got a formal response from the governor. Are you looking for a legislative sponsor to pick this up and draft a bill? Sure, absolutely. Governor Cuomo did not respond to the I-team's questions about D.A. Vance's letter, and some have questioned the sincerity of the letter. In very specific ways, Cy Vance's memo or letter to the governor was untruthful. Assemblymember Dan Quart and sex assault survivors attorney Kerry Goldberg have criticized Vance in the past for going too easy on powerful men like Dominique Strauss-Kahn, Harvey Weinstein, and Jeffrey Epstein. They told the I-Team this letter seems like a justification for not taking tough cases. It sends a horrible message to the whole community if we're letting people get away with rape. Basically, through that letter, this district attorney, Cy Vance, says you're locked out of the courtroom. Vance responded to his critics, pointing out his office has tried tough cases where drunk victims allege rape, including the case against NYPD officers Franklin Mata and Kenneth Moreno. They were ultimately cleared of rape after a woman accused them of taking advantage of her while she was drunk. I doubt there is an office in New York State who has a better conviction record on sex crimes than ours. I mean, the critics would say that's because you haven't taken challenging enough cases. Well, I think the Mata Moreno case is, is an example uh, of that's completely wrong. Whether whether or not D.A. Vance has been tough enough on sex crime, Brittany says his letter to the governor has gone unanswered for too long. Why is there no protection for rape victims who drink? She wants lawmakers to take prosecutors' discretion out of it and make it crystal clear having sex with someone who's too drunk to consent is a crime. If somebody is inebriated to the point where they're not conscious, whether they say no or not, you know, that should still be considered rape. 29 states have rape laws that make it clear it's not okay to have sex with someone too intoxicated to consent. New Jersey is among those states. DA Vance said women who are most often the victims of sex crimes would be alarmed to know they are protected on one side of the Hudson River and on the other, they are not. Back to you. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.